What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're doing a little review, maybe a slam, depends on um, how well these baits work today. But um, we're going to be doing a little review on a mystery tackle box that I bought from Academy. I know that Academy and Dick Sporting Goods has them, um, but I bought the last one at Academy. I was going to film in there, but I was like, well, they were limited stock and there was only one left. So why not just go ahead and get it, bring it out here and show you guys what's inside. All right, so... Let's go ahead and um, show you guys what is in this little mystery tackle box that we got from Academy. Um, they actually come in these little things. Um, this is box number eight. I'm not sure if they're different or what, but um, our first little bait is a little Guggen Squad Scout. This is a um, little jerk bait. This is their version of the jerk bait. It's got three trebles by Catchco. We've partnered with them. Then we also have something that I've never used while fishing and it's drop shot weights there is actually two drop shot baits in this box and um you guys are probably gonna make fun of the way i do it but i'm gonna try to knock them out in a little way that i don't actually have to drop shot them but these are a little um i have no clue i've never seen these things in my life but um it's gonna be interesting next we have some carl's amazing baits little little beavers um preacher style baits these should be pretty nice, black and blue flake. Can't go wrong with that color. Next, these are also some drop shot things. Um, they're by Big Bite Baits. I'm not even sure what these things are called. I'll show you guys whenever we get them out of the bag because I have no clue what these things even are. But um, the way I think I'm gonna do the drop shot is actually not by drop shotting them because I don't have a spinning setup and I don't have the right line on my spinning setup. And I think I can maybe knock it out because they're chasing bait. They're not going to be some bottom bites. But I'm um, probably going to put the little big bite baits on this thing and just swim it because they've been chasing crankbaits like really, really good, like a lot recently. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. And then if I have to, I'll resort to a drop shot. But um, I'm about to tie up a few of these things and get on the water. All right, so the first, first bait we're about to tie up is this little Guggen Squad Scout. Um, this is the pro blue color. I've used this jerk bait before. Um, these things catch fish, no doubt. So, pretty glad we got one of these in here because I know that this jerk bait is going to do pretty good today. But, um, let's get a little look at it. A little pro blue color. This will probably be the easiest thing in the box. Alright, so the next bait we're going to be using is this Carl's Amazing Baits. Um, little crawls, little beaver styled crawls and what i'm going to do with these is texas rig them throwing a light um weight a little 3 16 ounce and i also have it pegged but um these things are actually pretty small like they look small in the pack but they're really small up close but um black and blue should should be the thing today it should definitely work but um one thing is this hook that i'm using may be a little too big um got a little Texas rig with the beaver um, it's a smaller little beaver but I feel like it should still get the job done so now we just have to tie up the drop shotting stuff all right here is where it gets interesting these are supposed to be drop shotted um, never drop shotted and I don't have the setup for a drop shot so what I'm thinking is it's probably not gonna work to be completely honest here but I'm gonna try to put these on the back. Um, it's just, this is gonna be extremely weird. These are what these little things look like. They're really weird looking. Um, let's see if I can get the camera to kind of focus. Yeah, they look super weird. But I'm thinking if a bass bites it, then it should be able to hook into this thing. Oh wow, this is about to be this is about to be interesting all right <laughs> this is this is what we're going with well okay we are we're ready now this thing looks very weird but it's definitely better than drop shotting it because i have no clue to where to even start with a drop shot so we're about to have some fun with this lure this one's going to be the hardest one for sure but I'm about to load the boat up and we're gonna go catch some fish. All right, so first bait we're gonna start off with 
is going to be the Pro Blue Jerk Bait by Guggen Squad. Um, I, I'm starting with this because I feel like it'll be the easiest to get bit. And then we'll move on to the hardest, which is going to be that drop shotting thing, whatever that is. But um, I feel like we should get this jerk bait knocked out pretty quick. Just heard a fish. Oh, I got one. There we go. Come on. He's not a big one, but he is the first one of our challenge. Good gosh, he is definitely wild up. And I am terrified because in one of my last videos, I went, I got hooked, um, a tri hook in my hand. I'm terrified to grab this fish. All right, first fish on the, um, the little Guggen Squad Scout. That was pretty quick. I don't even think that was five minutes, but um, we're done with that bait. That means there is two more to go. Um, it's going to be very interesting on one of them, but I feel like the Texas rig should get bit pretty, pretty quickly. All right, we're at the next spot. I'm about to go out on a limb here, and we're going to throw this weird drop shotting looking lure. Um, it's floating. Well, um, I'm probably just going to throw the Texas rig and come back to it because it is not sinking at all. I don't know why I thought that would work. All right, I'm about to tie up the drop shot. I think I'm going to do that first and then come back to this Texas rig. All right, I just got done with my research watching a um, little YouTube video. Um, what we're going to do is actually rearrange this um, bait we have on the back. Um, we're gonna nose hook it. Let's try to catch a fish on this thing. Yeah, pretty sure a lot of people don't throw drop shots on bait casters, but you gotta work with what you got. Never mind. Actually, yeah, hold on. We're gonna have to do some plier work real quick. You know what, we're just gonna... We're gonna cut the head off of it. Give it a smaller look to it because it's a small hook and I don't wanna miss a fish because the bait on the back is too big. So just chop this thing off. And now we have a little minnow looking thing. Okay, so I know that there's some bluegill over here. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be my only shot with this drop shotting rig. So we're just gonna hope for the best here. Oh, I think something's on it. Something's on it. There's no way it's not. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. Oh, no. He got off. I think it was a little, like, bluegill. No. I should have said it harder. Okay, now I know what to expect. Wow. That was my chance. That was my chance. Wow. This is my chance. Three, two. Oh my, wow. We could have been moving on up in the baits. Could have been on the last one. Oh, wow, something has it. Something hit it at least. Something has it for sure. Yep, there we go, we got something. All right, it's, oh no, he came off. It was a bass. Oh, wow. This is just very, these hooks are just trash. They just have to be. Oh, we got something again. He's still on, he's still on. It's a bluegill or it's a bass. It's a bass, it's a bass, yes, yes. Wow, I may have to drop shot some more. Look at that, top of the lip hook set. Let's go ahead and get a little release. See you guy. 
All right, this spot's our chance to catch a fish on this little beaver. We're gonna work it pretty good. This should, this should be the spot. If we're gonna catch one, I would have to put my money on right here. All right. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a pretty good one too. Oh my gosh. We gotta cut the motor off. Okay. Okay, it's not a good one, but it felt like a good hook set, so I'm proud of myself. Yes! Let's go! He's in the boat. All right, that's the third fish of the day. Um, The slam is complete. We are done. Pretty proud of that. Um, We are completely done now. And there he goes. Back to where he was at. All right, so I'm actually supposed to be um, going to um, eat right now, but there's um, the shad that we first caught our fish with the drop shot still over here. So I think I'm just gonna toss it in there a little bit more and see if we can catch another fish. Hop on the bank real quick. I think I have one. Yep, got one. What is it? It's a tiny little bass. Oh, I just bopped him on the boat. Oops. Sorry, bud. A little drop shotting bass. See, bud. This is crazy. Drop shotting is actually pretty fun now that I understand what it kind of is because when i first started i was clueless see okay there we go there we go i'm looking more like a pro now actually making it into the water look at that they're everywhere just busting oh i got one Yo, he's running with it look how little he is <laughs> drop shotting is actually super fun boom Another little drop shot fish. Look at him go. All right, and like that, we're off the water. We have successfully completed the mystery tackle box from Academy. Um, we bought the last one. Got a few good pulls in it, I think. The Guggen Squad jerkbait was definitely my favorite out of the whole box. But at the end, the, um, the drop shot got pretty fun, not gonna lie. Um, we fished off the bank a little bit. We caught like two or three. Really fun. Love doing mystery tackle box slams. If you guys like them, make sure to comment down below and I'll try to start doing more. But um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Um, just love mystery tackle box. Um, if you guys haven't, you guys should check them out. They're pretty fun to do. Try to do a slam. It's always pretty fun. You got lots of baits you can try. Get new baits every month, you know, things like that. But um, make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't like and comment and you can always look on my instagram and keep up with me at loganfishing.fr i'll see you guys in the next video